Oh you can put God. pickles on anything, kids. Peanut butter, actually. You can put actually, peanut butter on a pickle. You put, like, peanut Have butter... Have you ever put peanut butter on a pickle? You could put a pickle on peanut butter. And it tastes delicious. Or it's you not use it to scoop the peanut butter. Yeah. It's the sweet and savory. John's clothes are sweet and savory. Like dill pickles on peanut butter. Thank you very much for coming here guys, you know, congratulations on your nominations, you know, our goal here is to make you guys look super chic, super awesome when you guys are walking down the red carpet, so enjoy the process, you're going to have a lot of time, I promise you, you're going to be looking fantastic. And We chose John because we like John, we know John, he's a really wonderful guy, he's very in tune with rock and roll and, and music in general, uh, it just has the, kind of the right vibe, so. It has all that crazy flash in a subtle way. You, know, you can wear something that from 15 feet away looks like a, just a nice tailored suit, but then you get up close to it and like there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on the inside and like, you know, special pockets and everything's just really nice and good material and everything. You know, it's like a pizza and if you take some dill pickle slices and you put that on the pizza and everyone's like, yeah. well, I'd never expect that. That's a crazy flavor, but the pizza doesn't look too crazy. It still looks like a pizza, mm. but then there's these little parts that I'm most excited to bump into Muse because we're in the same category and for the longest time those were kind of like our heroes. It's kind of a mind fuck. It's like I never saw this, this day coming. I'm really hoping that I bump into Kendrick Lamar at the Grammys. I don't know what I would say to him, but I just want to be like Excuse me? close to him and like see what he smells like, kind of, you know, that'd be good enough. <laughs> I, have a, I have a feeling he smells wonderful. Probably, yeah. But who knows? I don't have any style icons. I think that that defeats the purpose. If you're trying to imitate somebody, if you're trying to look just like somebody else, then you can't become a fashion icon. And it's not my goal to become a fashion icon, but I am having a lot more fun just... There are no rules, you know, I don't think. There are for some people, right? I mean, all the tabloids, they'll say, who wore it best? And, you know, you can do this, but you can't do that. And that's like, I guess, what fashion is built upon. So I think it's really fun that that industry is already set up. And they already have these guidelines for what fashion should be. And it's fun to just go into a store and break them and put things together that you wouldn't typically, that aren't on the mannequin. Should never look like a mannequin. There's a tip for you guys. Don't look like the mannequin. The mannequin is a fucking lie. I actually took my suit pretty much straight off a mannequin. Me too. <laughs> it looked really good. I was, I, fuck me, I'm just gonna wear that. Wow. Life is a lie.